What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, people are reporting that Errol Spence's tweet, undefeated, unified, three belt, WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight, world champion, superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one, definitely top five, best pound for pound fighters in the world and Earl the True Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. has 28 wins, no loss and no draw. 22 big wins by way of knockout. He is 32 years of age, 5'9", with a 72-inch arm reach. Earl Spence tweeted out, uh, LOL, right? Laughing out loud. As undefeated welterweight superstar title contender, Jerron Boots Ennis. Jerron Boots Ennis is now 30 wins, no loss and no draw. 27 wins by way of knockout. He's 25 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 74 inch arm reach. As Errol, uh, Jerron Boots Ennis was taking on uh, Karen Chua Kazin, and uh, Jerron Boots Ennis won a unanimous decision. Many people deemed the decision in the fight to be underwhelming, underperforming, and some people even feel like Jerron Boots Ennis was over um, stated, over hyped, and, um, and got exposed, right? Now, uh, why does this connect Errol Spence? Because Jerron Boots Ennis has been pursuing a fight with Errol Spence, okay? Jerron Boots Ennis is the International Boxing Federation mandatory challenger for Errol Spence's IBF title, okay? Uh, the, the IBF um, president, Mr. Peoples, according to father trainer manager Bozy Ennis, has stated that they are going to order Errol Spence 120 days after his um, next fight, which it seems like Errol Spence is going to face off against uh, former unified WBC, WBA, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Keith one-time Thurman. Keith Thurman uh, is um, 30 wins, one loss, no draws, 22 wins by way of knockout. He is 34 years of age, 5'8", with a 69-inch uh, arm reach. So Keith Thurman is the WBC World Boxing Council uh, mandatory challenger as the president, Mauricio Suleiman, board of 32 members, has ordered uh, Keith Thurman to uh, to be the challenger for Errol Spence. So they ordered Errol Spence to face Keith Thurman. So it looks like Errol Spence, who suffered another car accident December 10th of this of 2022, uh, stated that that pushed his plans back. He planned on announcing a fight on December 13th for his February showdown with Keith Thurman. Uh, but that got pushed back, and now he said he'll be back in the ring in uh, June, May or June, right? So with that said, um, that means that Jerron Boots Ennis, 120 days, is going to be four months after his fight, possibly with Keith Thurman in June, which means about September, October time, Errol Spence has to answer that bell. Uh, Errol Spence was at Jerron Boots Ennis' last fight indirectly because Jerron Boots Ennis was the co-main event to Errol Spence's stablemate, close friend, and uh, three-time junior middleweight world champion, who's the undisputed junior middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, Jamel Lyons only Charlo who was fighting Brian Castano for undisputed and Errol Spence was ringside so after uh Jerron Boots Ennis he took on Custio Clayton he won against Custio Clayton and he called out Errol Spence who was ringside right uh so he's the mandatory uh Bozy he stated that the IBF informed him that they're going to order Errol Spence 120 days he's going to have to fight Jerron Boots Ennis uh or he's going to have to vacate the title right and so um uh uh now Errol, Errol Spence is witnessing, he's close friends with, he's a, he's a fan of the sport of boxing, and Errol Spence is close friends with um, Javante Tane Davis, who was the, the main event, and Boots was the co-main event. So uh, he went 12 rounds, Boots did, with somebody I thought that was gonna, he was gonna get out of there in two rounds, three rounds at best. You know, I thought Boots was gonna put on a dazzling performance. But Karen uh, uh, Chua Kazadin, Kazadin, you know, he was, uh, uh, very, very elusive. Uh, he had very, very um, great footwork. Right, he just, he just, he displayed very good footwork, did great footwork. Uh, you know, he was very slick. You know, very crafty. He was a, he was pretty good in his counter punch abilities. He wasn't letting his hands go. He didn't want to commit too much, and he didn't want to engage. And the mistake Boots did was he um, followed uh, Chua Kazin around the ring. Okay, uh, trying to get the knock knockout. He's he was pressing the fight where I thought he should have cut the ring off better. Uh, he was more so following him around the ring. And, uh, you know, he just couldn't, he couldn't get the knockout, right? 
and so it went to 12 rounds, but he won every single round, you know. Uh, and Errol Spence, after the decision, he tweeted out LOL, to which got many people, sparked many people's, you know, um, uh, 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 interest and many people curiosity, and they automatically assumed that Errol Spence was uh, talking to, about and to Jerron Boots Ennis with the LOL tweet, um, which seems, the timing seems about right, like he was talking about Jerron Boots Ennis. Uh, because the timing was right on time when Jerron Boots Ennis was, was, you know, um, was uh, 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 getting a decision and fighting against Tua Kazin. Now, Earl Spencer's trainer, well-renowned trainer, two-time trainer of the year, Derrick James, he was in attendance. He witnessed it uh, firsthand. Uh, Derrick James is not a boxing fan. Derrick James was on hand. Uh, he stated to watch um, Javante Tank Davis, but uh I believe Derrick James is also on hand to scout Jerron Boutinis, okay, uh, to, to look to see what he looked like in person, up close in person, right, uh, up close and personal. Uh, that, you know, he said that was his first time watching. He was excited for his first time watching Tank in person. Derrick James is somebody who just doesn't watch about boxing. He's not a fan of boxing, you know. Uh, he's just not into boxing like that. He don't watch boxing. So uh, a, a part of me believes that he definitely was there to scout Jerron Boots Ennis and see what he looks like up close and personal. Now, obviously, the fight that everybody wants to see is Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. That's the biggest fight in boxing. Terrence Crawford, undefeated three-division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the reigning WBO welterweight world champion, who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world with a record of 39 wins, no losses, no draw. 30 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, 5'8", with a 74-inch arm reach. So that's the biggest fight in boxing, Errol Spence versus Terrence Bud Crawford, right? And uh, with that said, you know, um, if that fight don't come to fruition, people are going to call for a Jerron Ennis fight. But now people are saying that after that performance, you know, I, I feel like a lot of people are relieved after that performance. And not Errol Spence and uh, not Terrence Crawford and not uh, Derrick James, but... A lot of fans are relieved because Jerron Boutin is, is, is touted as the boogeyman in the division, right? Uh, he's big, he's strong, he's big as Errol Spence, uh, and he's versatile as Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is known to be a switch fighter, switch from Southpaw to Orthodox. Although Terrence Crawford today's time is predominantly a Southpaw, uh, uh, Errol Spence is a Southpaw, uh, and Jerron Ennis has the ability to switch from Southpaw to Orthodox, right? And um, I think that he that's something else he could have did uh, in this fight to assure that he cut the ring off against um, uh, Chua Kadazin. Um But he just didn't. He was following him around. You know, that's a mistake that he made. And that's something that's a learning lesson that I'm sure Jerron Boots Ennis would fix, you know, uh, moving forward. But nonetheless, uh, Errol Spence tweets out LOL. So uh, Errol Spence is lets it know. He acknowledged he knows who Jerron Ennis is. He sees Jerron Ennis coming. Uh, they had a FaceTime with Gilly the Kid and uh, um, Yellow Beezy. Yellow Beezy, close friends with Errol Spence. Gilly the Kid, close friends with Jerron Boutinis. So um, they had a, a, a FaceTime where Errol, Errol Spence said, I see you coming, I see you down the road. Boots stated, you know, you ain't seen nothing yet. You know, uh, uh, I got a lot of tricks in the bag for you. Uh, so on and so forth, right? Um, so nonetheless... Uh, Errol Spence has acknowledged that he knows who Boots is, and he said that he'll see Boots. Uh, Boots is pushing for that fight. Boots is seven years younger than Errol Spence, ten years younger than Terrence Crawford, right? Uh, it's this this time right now is ter the time of Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, and everybody wants to see them fight. Now, after that, as Jerron Boots Ennis continues to make a name for himself, then people are gonna want to see Jerron Ennis fight. You know, the winner of that fight, or possibly both of them, right? depending upon how they, their fight plays out. Their fight didn't come to fruition. Now, um, moving forward, we get to see, you know, um, if uh, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford fight. Ter Errol Spence said he want to spend the block on Terrence Crawford. Look like they'll fight before the year is up. Uh, so we got to see how that unfolds. But I, this is what I tell people. Uh, don't don't put too much stock in what you saw Jerron Boots and his fight with Chua Karazin and believe that that's that's uh uh that's an indication that he can't compete or compete compete or be competitive with uh terence crawford and errol spence uh, don't leave that to believe that oh he's definitely going to lose and get stopped by errol spence and terence crawford you know um 
I wouldn't put too much stock in that. You know, uh, fighters in the past have struggled with fighters that you don't know about. It's Boots stated that, you know, it's hard. He wasn't even motivated. He got bored in there twice. Chua Karzin, you know, he was there to survive. Better foot, foot movement and uh, educated feet than most people gave him credit for. So I wouldn't put too much stock in that. And uh, Errol Spence didn't mention Jerron Boots and his name directly. Uh, I mean, there's a coincidence that Boots had just finished fighting or was fighting when Errol Spence tweeted it out. Um, but Errol Spence, you know, obviously he's confident. He feel like he could beat Jerron in his interim 12. So let's see how it unfolds and plays out moving forward. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.